What the heck? What the heck? I got a snake on here. I already lost my first try of the day. I need to land this one. A fish on! Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Oh my gosh, this is a beautiful snake. What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's Colin J and today is a very special day for us because today we are celebrating five years of marriage. Jay, happy anniversary. Happy anniversary! Oh my I love goodness. You. I cannot believe that I've put up with you for five years. I can't believe I've put up with you for five it's years. Crazy. It's crazy. It's <laughs> crazy. So to celebrate this huge milestone in our relationship, we have traveled to where it all began. This spot right here is where Jay and I actually went on our very first date. Jay said that she was into fishing and I was like, I'm into fishing, let's go do some <laughs> trout fishing. And uh, we came to this specific river and we tore them up that day. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, he put me to the test. Yeah, I figured if she could catch a trout then she could probably catch anything. Yeah. And then from that day, we've been fishing together ever since. It's been an amazing five years and we are very much looking forward to seeing what we can catch out here of this river today. We've caught some monster trout here. So guys, if y'all are excited to join along with us on this fishing adventure, we would greatly appreciate it if you could hit the thumbs up button for us and subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. But with that being said, we've got some trout to catch. Let's do it. Let's go. guys we are in the water it is very chilly this water's like high 50s we're gonna start off by throwing my favorite trout baits the trout magnet toss that here in the current so we can get something to eat it oh first cast not even kidding not even kidding guys first cast and we are on with our first trout of the day not a monster wet our hands a little bit there we go guys Look at that. First trout of the day. Is that a cutthroat? I think it's a baby cutthroat. It's kind of hard to tell. He doesn't have the slashes underneath his jaw, but he doesn't have a whole lot of spots. I think it's a cutthroat, guys. Let me know in the comment section if you agree or disagree, but we are on the board with our first trout. Heck yeah. What the heck? What the heck? I got a snake on here. He ran into my line. Oh my gosh, he's eating a sculpin. It's a snake with a sculpin. A sculpin. Oh, yeah, he's eating a sculpin. Oh my god. Guys, look at this. I don't know how this happened. This is the craziest thing ever. This is the craziest thing ever, guys. I thought I was hung up in a stick, but I've got a Midland water snake and he is eating what I think is maybe a banded sculpin, some sort of sculpin. Oh my gosh. Check that out, guys. Well, unfortunately, uh, this Midland water snake dropped his scalp and I was wanting to show you guys the fish. I don't know how that happened. My line was just drifting and I thought it was a stick out there and then I was reeling it in. I was like, oh my gosh, there's a snake and the line was actually in his mouth somehow. That's crazy. So crazy. We've already caught a trout. We've already caught a snake. Good thing you're not afraid of snakes. I know, right? If I was, oh my gosh, can you imagine a trout angler right here that's terrified of snakes? <laughs> That would have been a, I mean, would have been a disaster because the lion was actually kind of stuck in his teeth pretty bad. But that's a really nice looking snake. Any cool, Jay? Yeah. There is a ton of these Midland water snakes. They love these cool water streams. It's probably, if we do see more snakes, they're probably all going to be Midlands. And take a look at that belly, guys. Isn't that so pretty? So pretty. Oh my. Such goodness. a cool snake. It's crazy finding snakes in a trout stream, but we'll take it. We're gonna send this guy back, and maybe we can flip over some rocks, and maybe we'll get lucky and catch one of those sculpins because they are really cool-looking fish. But until then, we're gonna send this guy back and try to get after some more trout. We've only been out here five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> See ya. Woo. There he goes. He'll probably find another sculpin. These sculpins are underneath all these rocks, and they just these snakes just probe around in there, and they're probably pretty easy for him to catch. All right, let's catch some more trout. There we go. Trout on. Trout on. Oh, that's a little bit better trout. Better than our first one. A little bit bigger. Get up here. Woohoo! All right. We will take that right there. Oh, there is my second trout of the day. We moved upstream a little bit, got into a little bit deeper water. 
That is definitely a rainbow trout. Got him on hooks. Beautiful little fish. We'll send him back. Bye. Oh, fish on! Fish on! Hey! My first, oh, I lost my first trout of the day. Oh, no. I lost my first trout. Got him. Fish on. Feels like a pretty decent one, actually. Feels like a pretty, oh, it's a decent trout. Decent trout, guys. Get out of that grass. Come on up, baby. Come on up, baby. Nice trout, baby. Come on. Woohoo! There we go, guys. Get up here. Woohoo! There we go. There's my third trout of the day. This is the biggest one we've caught so far, and this is going to be our first keeper. This guy swallowed the hook pretty bad. We swapped the fuse and some, uh, some shrimp on the bottom, and this guy fell for it pretty instantly, which is a good sign because they really weren't hitting the trout magnet very well. I'm thinking that's because the sun's up pretty high, and normally the trout magnet works better in cloudy or low light conditions. But either way, got a nice fish, put him on the string or take home for dinner. Nice. Fish on. Looks like a decent one. Okay, I've already lost my first trial of the day. I need to land this one. Woo! Yeah, baby. All right, there we go. There's my first trial of the day. Another keeper, so we're gonna add this one to the stringer. Hopefully, I'm gonna catch trout a little bit bigger than this today. I'm hoping to catch a monster. Yeah, but that's a good keeper size, though. Yeah. We're looking to maybe keep like four or five of these guys, so we have a nice meal. Good eating. But good job, Jay. <laughs> Fish on. We got a trout. We got a nice trout, I think. Oh yeah, nice trout. Nice trout. Up here below the dam. Back on the trout magnet program. This is the biggest one of the day so far. Come here, big guy. Come here, big guy. Woohoo! Heck yeah. Look at that beautiful rainbow trout, guys. Smoke that trout magnet. I'm out here waiting in the water. It's very cold, but there's some deep water over here, and it's the only way I can access this by waiting out here a little bit. This one is a nice fish. It'd be nice to put it on the stringer, but the stringer is all the way back uh, over there where Jay is at. So I'm actually going to release this guy. Let him get bigger. Bye. That's a good trout, Jay. Bring him up. Bring him up. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh, sorry. All right, there's my second keeper trout of the day. We moved up river a little bit. We got this really cool, beautiful spot, and this was my first cast at the new spot, and he smoked it. I know. That's a really nice keeper trout. I think it's our third one on the stringer. Yep. A couple more, and we'll be doing good. That guy's going to taste really, really nice when we get home later. Oh, fish on, fish on baby. Woo! I thought your shrimp flew off. <laughs> I guess so. That's another nice one. Yeah! Another keeper if you can land him. Yes! So far, I'm really liking this spot. We've had a lot of action. And we got another keeper for the stringer. So we're going to string him up and we're going to get back out there. Okay, so this trout keeps stealing our shrimp. So I'm going to try some power bait. It's got some white power bait here in the jar. I like power bait too because it floats up off the bottom and helps us keep from getting snagged up. That'll probably work. Instant on the power bait. Instant. As soon as it hit the water. That's a good one. Woohoo! 
power bait trout. Get up here. Yes. Not too shabby. Nice little trout. White power eggs. Send them back. Guys, we've got another huge, beautiful Midland water snake right here. I'm gonna try to catch him. He sees me, I'm gonna go for him. He definitely sees me. He is so big and beautiful. I got him, got him, got him, got him, got him, got him. Oh my gosh, this is a beautiful snake. Oh my gosh. Guys, we got him. What a gorgeous snake, are you kidding me? This is unreal. Whoa! Guys, this is an amazing Midland water snake. I mean, look at the colors on this guy. It's so vibrant. You can see the oranges, you can see the brick reds. This guy looks like he has a fish in his belly, maybe one of those sculpins we saw earlier. This is not the same snake, of course, but oh my gosh. What an amazing, I was walking down this rock ledge and he came out from the rocks, went down on the water and started swimming over there towards our trout on the stringer. So I was like, oh. I saw you stalking it. I know, I was like, I'm gonna go over and get it. <laughs> What a beautiful snake. He's being pretty mild. He tried to bite me at first, but he's doing pretty good. Didn't really musk that much. I mean, just a gorgeous snake. Now, if you weren't good in snake ID, you might would misidentify this as a copperhead because they kind of have similar colors. Um, the difference between this snake and a copperhead is that a copperhead's patterns on their back is more in the shape of an hourglass. And as you can see, it's just kind of just, you know, random where the blotches are on the back. And of course, if you look at the belly, He's got those dark red half moons. And does he have an orange belly? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. What a snake. This is what you want to see out here at the river. Beautiful, beautiful water snake. This has been a fantastic addition to today's catch. But with that being said, we're going to send this guy back into the river and we're going to try to catch a few more trout. Ready to go, buddy? Let's go. There we go. Big fish. Big fish. Big fish. Big trout, big trout, big trout, biggest of the day. Nice fish. Stay on there, buddy. He just thumped that thing. Is that a brown? Is that a... Oh, that's a... you got the net? Jay's got the net. Woohoo! It's a nice fat rainbow. Yeah! Let's go. There's the trout I just caught here from this spot. We've been fishing here for about 10 minutes with no bites. This is the first bite we've gotten here, uh, but he nailed that shrimp. He hit it so hard. It's our biggest trout of the day. He's a little bit too big to keep. We can only keep him 14 inches and smaller. We don't have a ruler, but I think he's probably about 15 inches or so. So we're gonna send him back into the river, see if we can catch one more keeper. We're gonna let him go here in the current. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Hooked up, baby. Hooked up. She's hooked up, guys. What is it? It's a brown trout. Oh, it's a brown. Is that your first one of the day? Yeah. Nice. There we go. Beautiful little brown trout. Made the money move. Caught that nice big trout. No. Sorry. <laughs> Lost him. Get back out there and catch another. <laughs>
right guys, it is the next day, but it is finally time for us to enjoy our catch from yesterday out at the river. We have our beautiful rainbow trout here on the plate. We baked in the oven for about 45 minutes at 400 degrees. Had them seasoned up with some slap your mama, some lemon, some butter, some onion, and then a little bit of a lemon pepper drizzle. Just a super simple and easy recipe. And uh, we are excited to try it out. We haven't had trout in so long, and I can't think of a better time than now <laughs> to go in for the official taste test. You ready? I'm ready. Okay, here, happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Thanks for helping catch these fish. <laughs> Cyprus, you'll get to enjoy this one day. Ready, <laughs> set, go. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that's really good. That is good, isn't it? Mm hmm. Jay was a little bit iffy about trout whenever she was pregnant. There was one time she ate it and she was like not really feeling it. No, I did not want trout at all. Whatsoever. So I was like, dang, that's kind of a bummer. I want to go catch some trout. But dang, that's good. Spicy. You couldn't even say trout. If no. If you even talked about trout, I would feel sick. It was weird, but she was literally like, ugh. I'm like, don't <laughs> do that. I'm like, don't do that. Don't do that. We like trout. This is really dang good. Yeah, mm. it is. It was seasoned up with a bunch of slappy mama, so it would like soak through the meat. We, had, we scored mm. the meat so it would seep in there. It's really tender too. It's so good, Cypress. Mm. These trout are so good. This is this is actually like this size fish is normally not the size we would traditionally keep from that spot, but they changed the regulations at that river where you can only keep trout 14 inches and smaller. Where normally we would keep like you know 15 to like 17 inch trout because there's just a lot of trout in that river. Um, but these smaller trout are like super tender and delicious. Mm -hmm. I ain't mad at it. I ain't mad at it whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Man, this is good. A little onion, a little lemon. Look at that. Wish y'all were here to try this. Like, this is some of the best fish I've had in a while. I also like the skin. Mm -hmm. I love the skin. Mm. That's fantastic. Trout capital of the world. There it was. I can't see my freaking bobber. Spot that's underwater. Not very good. There we go, guys. First cast hooked up. Hooked up, baby. What is that? A rainbow? It's kind of a chunky guy. Look at that. He's bigger than I thought he was. It's like a 16 incher. No, he's bigger than that. Gosh dang. Look at that. We got like an 18 inch rainbow. It's first cast. Are you kidding me? Oh, he came off. That dirty dog. Ah! <laughs> that dirty dog. Well, that's exciting. That's exciting. We're back in there. I'm, I've changed my bobber color. This glare is killing me. Okay, so that was exciting. Um, first cast, not even really ready. But here's the setup. Y'all been seeing me use this thing a ton, crappie fishing. This also pairs nicely. Um, trout fishing, using the AC crappie sticks. This is a 7.6. And then I have just a 1,000 size reel with 10 pound braid. I like the braid because it floats. I can kind of mend it over the top of the water. And then I have a four pound fluorocarbon leader. And then down here on the business, you know, I'm throwing the trout magnet. You know, basically, if I'm not trout fishing with the trout magnet, I don't even really want to be fishing for trout. <laughs> and here in this area, you have to have the barbs pinched. So we got it pinched down. We're looking for bigs. Looking for all bigs. Did you get bit? Oh my gosh. Got him. There we go. Oh, it's a begging, bro. Okay, here we go. Hooked up again. This is this is bigger than the last one. Oh, is that a brown? That's a rainbow. Oh my gosh, guys. Here we go. Here we go. Dude, this is as big as the last one, maybe bigger. Stay on there, big guy. This is heavy. Dude, this thing is just bulldogging. That is the name of the game, my man. <laughs> He's just sitting right there. He's got a little bit of grass on him. I mean, the bait was in the water for like three seconds and he was on it. Dude, this is a good one. He's coming to you. I'm not going to go for him. It's a rainbow, isn't it? It's a big rainbow. Here, you take us. There we go. We're going around back. The last one was probably like an 18 incher. This one might be bigger. It feels heavy. It feels really good. Oh gosh. 
stay on there. Let's just say these fish are hanging out up here because it's like the Colonel's Buffet. They're not up here if they're skiing. Gosh. That's a big one, bro. It's a very good one. It's a very good one. <laughs> oh, man. And this is like the perfect boat to be fighting these fish. And you got lots of room to walk around and run, follow these fish. Oh, man. Look at that rainbow, dude. He's getting close. Getting close. Oh gosh. Stay on there, big guy. Jeez. Are you having fun yet? Yeah, Please. dude. I, I'm telling you, I love, I love this style of fishing, dude. It's like my favorite thing in the world. Whoa! He saw the net and wasn't ready. I don't know what we're gonna do when we hook a big brown. Get that guy. Let's go, buddy. Get him. Look at that thing. Guys, look at that rainbow. Now that is how you kick the trip off out here. We're gonna measure him in a second. He's probably like 19, we'd say 19? Yeah, Probably 19, that. like a three pound fish, three and a half pound fish. Sure. Beautiful rainbow. Look at the colors on him. Yeah, He's got colors. some booty issues, I'm not gonna lie, but he that thing fought. a little fought. bit of issues. He yeah. might need to see the proctologist. But <laughs> this fish <laughs> fought so good, and this is just, you know, the beginning of the trip. Um, getting back here in the net, keep him nice and healthy. We're gonna get a measurement on him, and then we're gonna send him on his way and hopefully catch some more. But man, that's how you start the adventure off right there. Dude, that's sick. Beautiful fish. Okay, quick measure. 19. 19 on the dot. How about it? How about it? All right. Send this beautiful fish back. Okay, thanks for the assist on the net and measure. Absolutely. Dude, how about it? Let's get some more. Okay, well. Things are starting off well. I can't see my bobber again, but that's all right. We'll just kind of wait to feel something. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, David's hooked up. Finally. It took you a whole three minutes to get hooked up, man. What are you doing? I know. I pick it up. <laughs> What's it feeling like? Feeling rainbowy or brownie? It feels like a creature. It feels like a creature. It might be sneaks. There's a sturgeon up here somewhere. Really? Sneaks the sturgeon. A nice little rainbow. Come along to play the game, eh? Thanks, bud. <sighs> there you go. I can do them too, man. Yeah, appreciate <laughs> it. Thanks for returning the favor. Oh, there you go. Hook oh, popped right out. Barbless hook. Oh, there he goes. Easy goes it. Oh. That spot up there is loaded with them. The little guys. There we go. This is my third or fourth one. I'm not sure how many I've captured so far, but a lot of these smaller, you know, 12, 13 inch rainbows, and they're just crushing that white magnet. There's a lot of shad running through the dam. There's these seagulls that keep coming in and out of here. There's only like one flying there right now, but there was at one point like 30 of them just going nuts. And you know that they're eating shad. So that's why we're using the white magnets. We also have some hair jigs we're gonna be throwing. They're also kind of white color. I mean, I'm telling you guys, every cast. That's got a little bit of weight to him. That ain't no 12 inch baby. I can't quite, I can see my magnet in his mouth. I can't tell how big he is. Net man engaged. Oh, is he, he's not. Oh no, wacky rigged him. Dang it, man. How's that happen? I think they dive on it or they hit it. Oh, he jumped the net. He got a little wacky rig, but we got him in the boat. He might have a minor concussion. But that's a good thing with barbs. Look at the colors on that one. That's a beauty. Just like that, and they're on it. <clears throat> Man, this is fun. Start off with some big bites. I'm going through some numbers now though. No browns yet. The day is still very young. We've only been out here like 20 minutes. <laughs> there we go. That ain't no baby baby. Oh, it's a brown. Yes. Oh, he's tail walking. Look at that brown, dude. Oh my gosh, he's going nuts. Oh my gosh. It's a brown. He's like a pumpkin. 
He's like a pumpkin. <laughs> Look at him. There we go. He's like a pumpkin. Look at that, guys. First brown in the net. Probably like a 15 and a half, 16 inch or so. Looky there. It took us a little bit. We've been out here about 45 minutes now. Caught several, probably like a dozen rainbows. This is our first brown trout. A good, saw like 15 and a half, 16 inch fish. And uh, I'm looking forward to getting back out there and trying to catch another. Look at the colors. These fish are absolutely gorgeous. You got that, just like coppery orange, all the dots. Doesn't have a lot of red dots on them. I can't tell from this side, but uh, it's a good looking fish. Not a blemish on it. We're gonna send her back and we're gonna get back out there and catch another, another victim to the trout magnet. See you later. How about that? Let's go, baby. There he is. Get him. That's not small. That's not small, is it? I haven't seen him yet. I can see the float. And I feel head shakes. He don't feel bad, does he? Just went deeper. Look at him. Look at him go. Let me get my crap out the way. That's a good one, dude. I don't know. <laughs> oh, yeah. Dude, there's another pumpkin. That's a pretty one, dude. Long and lean looking sucker. Man, look at that. Beautiful brown trout. A little bit more color from what I caught, a little bit more orange. But he's long and skinny, isn't he? Yeah, man. We're gonna get him back. Come on, hold him. What we got? 19. 19, look all that thing is long, dude. Smaller guy. Compared, hey, I thought he was not super big, but 15, 16 yeah, I got him. Got him. There we go. Probably my second biggest rainbow of the day. Probably 15 incher. Oh goodness! Look at, Look at him! Look at him! Look at this guy! Oh, dude, that's a good brown. Fish. <laughs> that brown is going nuts. Let's go! I saw the bobber pop like it was a crappie. I was like, I think he's about to pull it down, and it went straight down. This thing is fabulous. That's a nice one. That one looks a little more healthy than your last one. That one's been eating up good. Yeah, he's bit. She's a beaut. She loved it. He, she, whatever. Probably a she. That's a fish. Yeah, I thought it was hung up, but it's a pretty good fish. It's a rainbow, I think. Oh, guys, this is a big fish. Dude, this is a big fish. Dude, this is big. Oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh, dude. Guys, I thought I was hung up and I was like shaking it because I was mad because I was hung up and it's actually a fish. Oh, my God, it's a big brown, dude. Dude, it's a big brown, like 25 inches. Yeah, it's big. It's big, dude. Big. Big, I'm scared, it's so big. Oh my goodness, it's about to jump again. Oh, stay hooked. Oh my gosh, look at him. Oh my goodness, this is big. He's going to the bank. I wish I was using a medium heavy pole now. It's a 20 pound test. It'd be great right now, guys. That would just take away from the fun, man. Man, I like to land him. <laughs> oh, he's going upstream. This is a big trout. It literally feels like I'm pulling in a log. Oh my goodness, guys. This is the biggest brown trout I've hooked in a while. A while, while. How close were you to the bank? I was close. I was like four or five feet off the bank, and that's why I, I could see the bottom, and I knew my bait was going to be hitting. I thought I was snagging some moss. Nope. On a tiny little trout magnet, guys. Giant trout. Coming, 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 right here. Right here, guys. Stay on there, guy.
thought about it, guys. Which I keep them up. Oh my gosh. Okay, how long is he? I said 25 out there. Oh, 23. 23, 23 though. Just long and skinny, just kind of spawned out looking. Yeah, he's... Oh, what a warrior fish. He smoked that thing. Guys, we have a monster in the net. Can we get in here without losing him, hopefully? He's wore out a little bit. Look at the size of this brown trout, guys. Now that is the fish we came here. It's just long and just kind of spawned out looking. Look how brown, just kind of coppery, got the red dots. That thing put up an epic fight on that 7.6 ACC rod. White trout magnet and big old brown trout. Okay, we're gonna get a couple pictures and we're gonna send it back to the lake, or the river. This is not a lake. All right, we're gonna send this gorgeous fish back. Got him. All right. Let's go, dude. It's going to be hard to beat. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we got a spinny guy. It's a rainbow, or it's a brown. It's just a really dark fish. I don't know. He was a rock crawler. Look at that thing. He's just spinning. That fish is not even fighting. Look how colorful he is. Is he in the mouth? Yeah, he's hooked in the mouth. He's hooked in the mouth. Look at his head. It's like a zombie fish. I mean, this fish is acting like the definition of lint fish. He's not doing anything. Didn't even fight hardly, but look at the colors. Really pretty, dark morph of a rainbow, dark pink stripe, white trout magnet. We're gonna send her back. She looks like she's been through some stuff though. Oh, there she goes. So let me tell you about what we just did. So the water, um, from whenever we first started, it actually had kind of slowed down a little bit. But now it's picked back up and we've added a second split shot onto our line just to kind of help uh, get the bait down in the current because whenever it's flowing too fast it's hard to get the bait the bait wants to rise up and uh, those trout they don't really want to come up and get it they want it to be drugged right in front of their faces Oh, baby biggin. Big brown. Yeah, it's a nice brown. It's a nice brown. Not monster brown, but it's a nice one. Oh, baby. Okay, here we go. Coming up in the net. Oh, I missed. There we go. <laughs> nice. Look at that. Just another gorgeous brown trout. Been a while since we hooked one, but look at that. Beautiful colors. Look at the beautiful spots on that one. Uh, send it back. Man, that's cool. Love catching these brown trout. Right off the back of that rock right there. Smoke it, smoke it, smoke it. It's a fish. Oh, it's a brown. It's a brown. He's jumping. He's a jumper. Can we get a fourth jump? Four jumps. <laughs> what a beautiful fish. Thank you, buddy. Look at this, guys. Another gorgeous brown trout on the white magnet. It's been doing work for us all morning long. And they're like 15, 16 inch, or probably 16. I mean, just absolutely gorgeous brown trout, guys. Send it back.
Oh, we got another jumper. Another jumper rainbow. Man, he's coming in so fast. How long was that bait in the water? Like five seconds? About five? Approximately. Approximately five seconds. Oh, he's only got one pectoral fin. Sorry, ma'am. Sorry you're missing that one fin. There you go. Another nice little rainbow. We moved back up here by the dam in our hot little rainbow spot. They kind of been piling up here. We'll kind of catch a few here, move downstream, then come back up, catch a few. Hasn't been a super big fish hole except for that first big rainbow that we got, but it's been good to us all day long. Oh, that's a big one. That's a good fish, guys. Look at that. That thing is amber. Look how dark red that thing is. Amber, and his name is Jack. Does that make it an amber jack? <laughs> it's an amber jack. Look at the colors on that thing. Jeez, dude. That is a gorgeous fish. And me and David were just talking about how we needed a big fish in our life, and I literally feel like I just spoke that into existence. That is a really quality rainbow trout. Look at the colors. Probably the most colored up one we've got today. Um, looks a lot healthier than some of the last ones we've caught. Still looks just kind of spawned out, you know. Just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. You get the true colors of these guys, and you can really tell where they get the name rainbow trout from. Probably like, what do you think, 16 and a half, 17 inches? Probably yeah. close to 17. Yeah. Beautiful fish. Probably our third largest of the day. We're gonna get her back and we're gonna try to catch some more. We're gonna try to find some more browns too. Oh, don't do it. Don't leave me yet. Okay, you ready, big girl? <sighs> Beautiful. There she goes. Back to the rocks. waded out here into the water a little bit. I've got the trout magnet rigged up underneath my bobber. We're gonna toss it out here so there's any trout chilling in this current. All I like to do is just cast the bait upstream, kind of mend my line, and let the bait just drift. And if there's a trout nearby, oftentimes they'll just snatch it right up as it goes past their face, but we'll see. I'm hooked up. I got a fish. There we go, is that a trout? Hey, second cast. And I've got my first trout of the day. He's a tiny guy, but at least we're gonna catch a trout. Definitely looking for something bigger than that to take home, but that's a good sign to catch one on the second cast. Ah, little baby rainbow. Whoa. Oh, he gone. Oh, good one, good one, better one, better one. There we go. That's a normal sized trout. <laughs> He's still not that big, but We'll take it. We will take it. You could definitely keep and eat this size trout, but I think we're gonna go for something just a little bit bigger. You know, limit is five a piece. Oh, just like that, he's gone. But he was probably like a, a 10 inch trout, but oftentimes we're able to catch some that are a little bit larger than that, a little bit stockier, a little bit more fit for eating. But if that ends up being the average size, then we'll probably keep some like that because we definitely want to make sure we bring some trout back home. You got a big one? He's not like super big, but he's a, he's he, a camper. He looks shiny. Oh, that's a, that's a nice, that's a nice trout, Jay. Oh my God, get the net. I'm getting the net, that's a nice trout. Oh, that's a nice trout. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Yeah! yeah. Woohoo! That is awesome, Jay. Yeah, that's like perfect eating size. I know, that's exactly what we are after right here today. I told y'all with that, those first couple of small ones that they were big enough to eat, but oh, <laughs> he's definitely good eating now. <laughs> Sorry, fish. Yeah, it's all right. Hey, these fish are put in this river to be harvested by us to eat. So that's exciting. He I'm so excited. He looks cool, he matches your glasses. Oh yeah? <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, let's get him on the string and let's get back out there. And he fell big into the shrimp, right? Yeah, he did. He loved the shrimp. I think I'm gonna tie me on some shrimp. The current's moving pretty fast. Yeah. So I think it's key to get something on the bottom in front of their face. Yeah. Good job, Jay. All right, let's put him on the string. Oh, 
That's a good one. Not bad. Get up here. There you go. There's my biggest trout so far. Another one on the trout magnet. Not quite the size we're after. We just moved upstream, by the way, if y'all couldn't tell. We quit getting bites in our first spot. But this spot here looks very promising. Hey, oh, nice one. He's swimming fast. I think I finally got my first keeper of the day. He's not much bigger than the last one, but I think I'll probably put him on the stringer. What you think, Jay? Oh, he ain't bad. Yeah, that's a good one. He's a little chubster. He's like a little torpedo. Our other one needs a buddy pretty badly. So we'll put him on there for insurance. Just make sure that both Jay and I each have a trout to eat tonight. All right, there's my trout. Let's see how he compares to the one Jay got. Eh, he's quite a bit smaller than the one that Jay caught, but he'll still work. We'll butter him up in a skillet. Throw some lemons, some onions on him, and he'll be super tasty. Oh, that's a good one. Oh gosh. Keep a hold of that one there. Oh yeah. Woo, that's another one worthy for the stringer. Come on, baby. Come on, big guy. Woo. Here, lift him up. Oh, gosh, oh, gosh. Yeah. There it is. <laughs> there it is. They are slaying the shrimp. Well, I sure am glad we brought you trout fishing today. <laughs> Normally it's you showing me up on trout fishing, but hey, I got two for the stringer now. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Two really nice ones. My third one's really not that impressive, but it is a fish. We are two fish away from one limited trout, which is awesome. And um, I might have to swap up to a bottom rig. The current is kind of fast with yeah. a trout magnet. Um, but I have a good feeling we're gonna catch them even bigger than this today. They look a lot bigger in the water though when you're fighting them. <laughs> I know when they're far away. So I'm away. like freaking out. I'm like, don't come up, don't yeah, come up. Yeah, those shiny sides can really fool <laughs> you. That's another nice one. He's not as colored up as the first one you caught, but no. still a cool little rainbow. And uh, we will happily put him on the stringer. Yeah. Begging? Feels like another good one. That was in very next cast. That was the very next cast, yeah. Woo! He might be a smidge bit smaller, but still a good one. Man, he's really fighting hard. Woo! All right, well, this one swallowed the hook pretty bad and bleeding, so we're just going to go ahead and add him to the stringer. Yeah, he ain't too uh, small. He's a good sized one. Yeah. He's like the one I put on the stringer size, but that makes four. We we're one away from our first limit, <laughs> and we've only been out here about, I don't know, 20 minutes? Yeah. We're doing good. <laughs> it's nonstop action. Jay's got another one. one. Jay's got another good one. Oh, flip him up on the bank. Oh, I'm in the way. Yes. Woo. Jay, you were on fire. This is like the best you've ever done trout fishing out here. I know. Normally I'm lucky to catch like one or two after fishing for like five hours. I know. It's crazy, but like you were just <laughs> smacking them. There must be something about these shrimp that they are just loving. This is a different. Oh, 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 oh don't lose him. She's got him. I think he knocked himself out. He's yeah. about to go on the stringer. That's the only thing about these fish. They're so hard to hold on to. Yeah, it's kind of annoying at times, but hey, we'll deal with it. That's and they're a, super wimpy. Yeah, they're wimpy, they're slimy, and they're strong, which is yeah. what makes it fun to catch. But anyways, they're also really good to eat. So that is our fifth fish. Oh gosh! Get him! are super hard to hold on to. Yeah, you're, you're in timeout. I'm putting you in the five minute corner. Hey, was, at least you got him. Yeah, at least we got him. If we did, you know, in the case we didn't get him, you know, maybe a big, like a giant size bin the water snake could eat this trout. There's also otters, there's big turtles. A lot of things would have munched on this guy had he gotten away downstream. But I've got a bear grip on him, you see that? Yeah. That is how you hold the trout that you're gonna put on the stringer. You just squeeze the crap out of him. But anyways, we're gonna put this guy on the stringer. That might be the biggest one. I think it is. Honestly, he's a good size, but we're gonna get him on stringer. You're gonna be in timeout for a minute. Oh. And um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> you keep slaying him. And uh, we're gonna see if we catch some more, but that's one limit. Let's go ahead and catch another five. Heck yeah. There we go, fish on. Fish on the shrimp. Get up here. He was way down river. Hopefully he didn't swallow. I didn't really feel him bite it. Just kind of felt to swim with it. He didn't swallow. He's good. Yeet. I think that one's going to be my biggest of the day. 
Ah. Oh no, oh, he's definitely going on the stringer now. So I was originally going to release this trout, but he slipped out of my hands and bonked himself on a rock. So we're gonna add him to our daily limit. I think we have, this will be our seventh one on there now. Not a bad sized trout, definitely a good keeper. He's probably honestly the biggest one I've caught so far today. So I'm eager to get him on the stringer and see if we can catch one a little bit bigger than that before we head out of here. Oh, he jumped! <laughs> yes. Oh, I love it when they get feisty like that. What's fun about this is that you never really know how big the fish is gonna be when that bobber goes down. You're always hopeful that you're gonna have a big one, but even when it's a little guy like this, it's still fun. Nice little trout. Nothing huge. Toss awesome him back. I'm gonna make one more cast in this spot, and then I think we're gonna move on to somewhere else, or maybe even hike on out of here. We've been out here for a long time now. We've caught plenty of fish. But we're just still just holding out to see if we can get one big one for you guys, but not sure what's going to happen today. Oh my gosh, guys, we were just getting some B-roll shots. Jay cast it out, and you're not gonna believe what she has hooked up. I can't even believe what I just caught. This is an absolute first for us out here. Look at that. I mean, that is absolutely incredible, Jay. Neither of us have ever caught a crappie here. No. And it's the last fish I expected to catch out I here. I know, right? And really, just the circumstance, like we were not even like really fishing. No. You were just like, I think I have a fish on here. <laughs> and I was like, what? And I was like, wait a second. What is that? I know, it's a dang good black crappie. I could not believe my eyes at first. Wow. I know. That is so, so cool. And I mean, what a beautiful location to get to crappie. We got these awesome waterfalls downstream and upstream. I mean, this is trout water. Apparently I guess it's, it's crappie water too. <laughs> I know, and you know, it's probably because we're using a crappie rod. And we brought the slab queen out here trout fishing. <laughs> hey, maybe there's more over there. <laughs> there's, a, there's a possibility. You know, these crappie go in schools. Um, we've got plenty of rainbow trout. I don't think we even need this crappie, although we he know. would be probably pretty tasty. And yeah. I know y'all want us to keep him, but I think just under these circumstances, yeah. we've we got the first we've ever caught, and we don't really need him. We'll just send him back. Yeah. That's amazing. What a beautiful fish. I mean, look at that. Such a cool catch. <gasps> I know! That's awesome! All right, this is definitely my favorite catch of the day. I just can, I am still in awe that I just caught a crappie here. But we're about to send him back. So here he goes. Bye, buddy. What's he gonna do? He said I'm a trout. Whoa! That is incredible. Hey, put it there. That's amazing. <laughs> Go back out there and see if you catch another one. Right? All right, well, after that last wild and crazy crappie catch, I'm still having a hard time believing that you caught a crappie Me this too. far up the river. Um, that was awesome. Crazy. We made a few more casts in a couple of different holes and we didn't get any more bites. So we've actually hiked back up here to the headwaters and we are about to load up all of our gear and head back in the car and make the long trek back to the house where we will then clean and cook these trout for dinner or for lunch. Just depends on what time we get back home, but <laughs> we'll be cooking them in today's episode. So if you're excited about that, stay tuned to the end. All right, guys, well, lunch is officially now, sir. We have our grilled rainbow trout. We also have some freshly picked zephyr squash from the garden. <laughs> we've got Jay, we've got baby C right here on the monitor in spirit, and we are about to dig in to our hard earned lunch. Yes, it looks so good. Honestly, you made it look pretty easy out there catching those trout. You were wearing them out one after another yesterday. That rarely happens. It, you know, <laughs> I wasn't gonna say anything, but you you did really, really well out there compared to how you normally do. Yeah, thank you. And you caught some really nice ones. Definitely some good ones for the plate. Did you already get a bite of that? I actually did just take a bite, sorry. Was it good? It's really good, yeah. That's awesome. So, as y'all can see, we season these trout up with just a classic trout blend. We've got onions, we've got lemons, we have some mm. Cajun seasoning, and of course we had some butter 
If you guys would like to see a more in-depth video on how we clean and cook our trout, I know that in this video we did it kind of quickly. Um, we'll leave that video link down in the description for you guys to check out. But with that, I'm going to actually snag me a little bite here. Got me a nice little piece with some skin. <laughs> there we go. That was tasty, yo. Mm -hmm. That is really, really, really good. good. That is really good. Let me get a bite of squash. Get a bite oh, yeah. of squash. Is that any good? You had any of that yet? No. Fresh from the Colin J Garden. Mm. That's, That's money. Really good. That's money. That's all you need. You know, all you need is some trout, some veggies, mm. hot wife, and you're good. Life is good, right? <laughs> Life's good. <laughs> <laughs>Let me go over the gear we're going to be using to catch these trout today. It's pretty much my stock, just standard um, trout fishing setup I use all over the place. I'm using the 7 foot 6 inch medium ACC crappie sticks rod. I like the longer rod because most of the time we're drifting these trout magnets below bobbers. Sometimes you want to have your bobber set pretty deep so you need a longer rod so it's just not like all tangled up in the guides. But anyways, here is the bread and butter of the rig. That is a trout magnet. That's a 1 64th ounce jig head. And then there's your little grubs. They come in a bunch of different colors and shapes and sizes. And i got a box in here. I'll show you all the colors they make. But basically, you just set it to the depth where the bait basically just barely ticks the rocks or the grass. Um, you don't want it really high in the water. You want it to tick the bottom. That's where the trout are hanging out. And they just snatch it up. You really don't do anything. You don't impart any action, really. You just cast it up there. Just let it drift. And the fish, they swim over to it. And they gobble it up. Here is a little kit. Right here has all these different colors. And... All these colors work. Trout Magnet has a ton of different colors available, but I pretty much like to start with the pinks, the whites, and the chartreuse, and that's pretty much the bread and butter. You can mix in these other wild and crazy colors kind of when they get conditioned to one color, um, but overall, these are the three that I like to use the most, and I think Dakota, who's behind the camera, would agree. But yeah, we're gonna start with the pink. That's usually what I start with, and we will go, and I think Dakota's gonna start with white, so we'll see which one works better. There he is, first cast. Awesome, first trout in the morning on a trout magnet. Come here, big guy. Little big guy, little baby big guy. Good first trout of the morning. All right, looky there. Nice little rainbow, probably like a 12 incher. Nothing huge. There's some big ones out here. We'll see them back. First cast of the magnet. First cast, yeah. They're here, there's plenty of them. Whether it be the algae, that's, fish. that's a fishy fish. There we go, second trout. Looks like another rainbow. Little rainbow boy. Whatever, that's a <laughs> Here we go, I caught my first trout on my first cast of the trout magnet, and this is 27 minutes later, swapped it to a white one, and there we go, second rainbow trout. Gotcha, there we go. Oh, good one, the biggest one I've caught so far. Right in front of me. I saw him hoping to eat it. Stay on there, buddy. All right, there we go. Third rainbow trout on the magnets. The second one on the white color. He bit right in front of me and I saw him just like turn on. I was like, wait, is that a fish? Show sure enough was. We'll see you, big dog. Still looking for a brown. We got a few spots we're gonna hit today, like we mentioned earlier. But um, we've seen a couple of big ones swim through here. We just haven't got the bait from them yet. There we go. Gotcha. Up here in front of the riffle on the trout magnet. I made another color change. Not a big one. It's probably, oh, one of my bigger ones. Look how, look how spotted this one is. And here's beautiful. This one's beautiful. Look at how beautiful that trout is, guys. Beautiful spots. You gotta love that. I mean, that's gorgeous.
gotcha. Big one. Nice fish. Right there in front of me again. That's our biggest for sure. Look at that big old rainbow. <laughs> That's a good one. That's the biggest one I've caught so far. He's all clipped up and not as pretty as the first one, but still. Another good fish. Here we go. Look at that. Another solid, big old thick rainbow. Peace. Gotcha, little baby guy. Oh, he's a jumper. He's a jumper. He's a jumper. Anyway, that's probably my, my most mangled looking one of the day. See you, buddy. Gotcha. He's a feisty boy. Feisty boy. I'm not sure we're trying to caught today now, but we're getting close to 10, probably. Nice little spotted guy. Back on that pink and white laminated drop magnet. See ya. See if he wants the white. So you can put you can put whatever color you want to on. First cast will get bit. And then it all comes down to if you're gonna get bit again or not. They're all just sitting there watching the one guy. They're like, all right, go try it. Yeah, I mean, you could put the, any color. I could probably reach in and grab any color, cast it out, and get bit on the next cast. Catch one, and then not get bit again. <laughs> but I caught like five up ahead, of the, up ahead of the shoal on this one. Did you? Yeah, I caught a pretty big one. There we go. Good one, begging. Begging. Okay. Yeah, it's a rainbow. Not bad. I don't think he's as big as that biggest one I caught earlier, but he's still a good one. All right, well, there's another nice little rainbow. I thought he was a lot bigger at first. He had a lot of shine to him all the way across on the other side of the creek, but he's ready to go. Oh. All right, well, I would say that first spot we stopped for trout fishing was pretty good. We probably caught 20 or so all together, maybe a little bit more, but uh, we're actually making our way back to the vehicles. We're gonna try out our second spot of the day, but to get there, we have to go through this crazy bamboo forest. It is thick and these are some big old pieces you can make some big old structures with these boys. This is so cool. I wish we had some of this by our house. We can mess around in. But it's literally so thick. You just gotta weave through. Dakota said he feels like he's back at Nam. <laughs> back here hiding. This is cool. All right, well, we're gonna uh, navigate through here and then we will pick up when we get back to the second spot. There we go. Oh, big him. Nah, he's just a swirly guy. Oh, he came off. Dirty dog. They're stacked, dude. They are, they are stacked right there. Oh, my gosh. There we go. About time I set the hook on him. Pretty go. Oh, he's a jumper. He's a jumping sucker. He's coming for you. He's coming for you. He's coming for you. Yeah. There we go, nice little rainbow. Come here. Spunky little guy. So what I want to do here is I actually want to keep a few fish. I think I'm going to start with this one. What I've got here is I made myself a little makeshift stringer with some fishing line and uh, a stick. So I'm just going to stick this right here through him. We'll stick him on there. And boom, there we go. We've got a, a, uh, a little rainbow trout on an invisible stringer. <laughs> And I'm going to tie him to my pants. There we go. Oh, good fish. Good fish. Good fish. We're on. Second spot's got some fish. A much better keeper. Oh, yeah. Look at that one. Stay on there. Much better, Rainbow. Look at that guy. He is fighting like crazy. Him's gonna be a tasty boy. As long as we don't lose him. Look at that. That's a nice one. I don't think he's as big as our biggest one we caught at the first spot. 
Hey, still a pretty guy. All right, successfully secured our second trout. Hopefully, this is 30 pound test mono, so hopefully it'll hold up. I'm sure it will. He like pooped all over me though. Got him. There we go, fish number three. That's spot number two, it's another decent one. Looks like another kid keeper. Stay on there. Stay on there, big guy. Oh yeah, another good one. Woo. There we go, number three. There we go, third trout. These fish are like blue, they're like aqua colored. Look at that, like teal almost. Beautiful, now hopefully I don't drop him. Earlier we were being really gentle with our trout, but now I'm just like death gripping them because I don't want them to get away. There we go, trout number three secured on the stringer. I think it's so funny, I'm literally tying these fish to this little loop in my zipper. There we go. See a couple more, we'll be good on keepers. There we go, next cast. Oh gosh, he's a jumper. He's jumping like crazy. These, the fish here are jumping a lot more in the spot we fished at earlier. I'm actually gonna release this one, he's kinda small. I'm gonna miss the trout. The color's making me nervous over there. He's fishing for a big old one. <laughs> There's a big old brown trout sitting over there that Coe's trying to catch. I think he's gonna catch him. There we go, next cast. Oh gosh. He's a jumper. He's jumping like crazy. These, the fish here are jumping a lot more in the spot we fished at earlier. I'm actually gonna release this one. He's kinda small. I'm gonna miss the trout. The color's making me nervous over there. He's fishing for a big old one. <laughs> There's a big old brown trout sitting over there that Coe's trying to catch. I think he's gonna catch him. Man, my bobber was so gone. I looked away for one second. And I was like, where the heck did my bobber go? He's tiny though. Tiny little dude, look at his humpback. Look at that, that is a pitiful little trout. We'll send him back, maybe he'll figure it out one day. It'll be a big trout. Uh-oh, getting nibs. That's weird, they bit like a crappie. Just popped it and then pulled it down just like a crappie. No, a little one. He's pretty, much better looking than the last one I just caught. And they are stacked right here. So basically there's like a little pinch point. There's some big rocks here, some big rocks there. And they're kind of right in the middle. What? Don't tempt me with a good time, bro. I brought that just so you can laugh at me. That's a nicer one. I can't even keep up with him, he swims so fast. Y'all buddy. I'm gonna throw him on there too. I'm gonna throw him on there too. Yeah, might as well get my limit. Here we go, my fourth one on the stringer. Limit's five, so I'm gonna get one more good one. Nice. He's just swirling down. I can't tell how big he is. About the same size as the other ones. Come on, big daddy. Come here. Not bad. I think I'm gonna send this one back. I think I can catch one a little bit bigger to add to my stringer for my fifth keeper. I might regret it. The bite's kind of slowed down, but I think we can get a bigger one. We'll send him back. Oh, baby. He's running to the side. A little bit bigger. He might be it. Oh yeah, that might be him. I think that's the only one. Big old chunky boy. Now as long as we don't drop and lose this one, I'm gonna try to put him on the stringer. No, no. Stay here with me. 
All right, that is fish number five. I'm actually gonna take these back up to my stuff. So I don't have to carry them on me anymore. Got my five keepers rainbow trout. We're gonna poke around now until we get something big. All right, so spot number two was definitely a little bit more lucrative than spot number one. We caught way more fish here. Um, I feel like the first spot was better overall though, as far as like the quality of fish seemed better there and there was more brown trout swimming around. But um, we didn't get that big bite at this spot, but we're gonna go to another spot after we get these boys on some ice. This will be our dinner tonight. And again, all fell victim to the little trout magnet. They were loving that pink and white color. It was out fishing Dakota's solid white one, like five to one, wasn't it, buddy? I guess, I guess. <laughs> I'm not sure if you can hear me or not. We are at spot number three and we are here. There's the river, but we've got this pipe right here and we're gonna fish right underneath it so we can catch some fish. We've already seen a few tailing. It's the most unlikely spot to catch a fish because it's literally like 40 yards away from the river, but apparently they swim all the way up from back here up to here and we're gonna see if we can catch one. Look at this fish. Ah! Don't get away. Don't get away. No! Oh, guys, look at that. That is so crazy. This fish swam all the way up here, got underneath that pipe. And uh, that's one of the nice ones we caught today. Whoa! This here is a catch and release area, so we're gonna send him right back over here. Say bye! Awesome! Let's get another. All right, well that is going to be it for all of the trout fishing today. Spot number three didn't produce a ton of fish, but we did catch probably the most memorable fish of the trip. I don't know how that fish got up there. I guess he swam up there, but that was like literally like 100 feet away from the main river. He might've got dumped out of that pipe, I don't know. But it was a good one, and uh, I think it's a great way to end our trout fishing on a positive note. We caught fish in all the spots. I think spot number two had the most fish, but spot number one was probably the most promising for a big one. I don't know, but it was a lot of fun. Didn't get that big brown today, but it definitely will have us coming back out here again soon to try to catch one of those big browns. But for now, we're going to head back to the house, take all of our fish we caught from spot number two. We're gonna get them cleaned up. We're gonna eat them for supper, and it's gonna be delicious. So we will see you when we see you. We are back here at the house. We caught all those trout yesterday, got home, got them all cleaned up and cooked up today actually for lunch. And uh, I've got a little sampler here on this plate. I think this was the smallest of the rainbow trout that we caught. I think we're gonna cook some more um, later on tonight or tomorrow and enjoy the rest of them. But anyways, I just wanna do a little sampler right here. Um, so what I did to season it, well, first of all, I cleaned the fish. I just cut the head off, gutted it. You know, pretty simple trout cleaning. Then I scored the meat, meaning that I just cut some slashes in it. And then I filled up the inside cavity uh, with some limes. And then I went on to uh, drizzle some liquid crab oil on top of the trout to kind of go into where I scored the meat. Just a little bit, that stuff is really highly concentrated. So you don't, you don't need very much of that. And then I shook on some uh, Slappy Mama dry seasoning, put some limes and butter on top of the fish, wrapped it in foil, threw it in the oven 45 minutes, and uh, this is the final result, and I think it looks pretty dang scrumptious. So we're gonna dig into it and see how it tastes. As long as you get your trout cooked all the way through, the meat peels right off, it's really easy. Got a little bit of skin, look at that. That should be, oh no, no. Luckily it landed on the plate. We'll try that again. That's good guys, and it's so good. It's spicy, and I like it. I like it a lot. Man, it's really, really good. We get another piece off. When you score the fish like that, it's really easy just to peel off that middle backbone. That's one of the complaints you hear all the time from people like cleaning trout or eating trout. They're like, full of bones. I'm like, yeah, they are full of bones, but when you cook them like this, you can peel the meat off really easily. Mm. Scrumptious. That might be decent. Oh, it's decent, guys. Oh, it's decent. Here? It's real decent. Yay, yay, yay. Oh gosh, this is mayhem. I was watching you. It's pandemonium in the boat. Five dollars catch one right here. 
What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Cole and Jay, and we are out here on the river, fishing below this tailwater. And we've been out here fishing for like the last five or six hours, but guys, we have had an absolute ball of a day. We've caught so many fish, tons of fish. I'm not gonna tell you how many, you're gonna have to stay tuned and watch, but we caught a ton right here with Jeff, right here with David, and uh, it's kind of the end of the day. We're trying to catch a couple more, but uh, we forgot to do an intro earlier on. And we just started, I mean, we, you'll see. We, we were just too excited. Yeah, it, it, was, <laughs> it was absolute mayhem from the start. Uh, catching them on a really simple and an effective way to catch fish like honestly probably the easiest way you can catch trout throwing little trout magnets below bobbers and also ripping some d2 jigs with just a little hair jig off the bottom like for example my man david <laughs> is hooked up can he do it oh no oh, got off david blew it david <laughs> <laughs> the pressure of the intro got to him but he is he's ripped a bunch of fish jeff's ripped a, bu ripped a bunch of fish we both ripped a bunch of fish it's kind of a common theme in this episode but we know y'all are gonna enjoy this one, so stick around, watch the madness, and uh, <clears throat> most of my voice I'm screaming and catching all these fish. Have you had fun today? Yes, had I fun today. had a great time. Yeah, so we're gonna quit talking. We're just gonna just jump right into this video. If y'all enjoy it, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you right here, <laughs> but like six hours ago. There we go, fish on baby, first cast. First cast, looks like a little feisty rainbow. Not bad, David's on the net. Look at that, he can't get stuff, oh man. Oh man, oh man. Let him go. <laughs> it's Thanks man. Jay, Jay, Jay. Oh, oh begging, we got doubles. I got the net. In your pole there too, Jay, when it gets to really deep. Just go straight up in the air now. Yeah, let's go straight up in the air. Get him, JJ. There we go. Hey, Doubles in the net. All right, we got my fish in the net. Here's JJ's fish. Nice one, first one of the day for each of us. That's a good rainbow. And our, and our first daily double. First daily double in the first couple <laughs> seconds, honestly. That's awesome. She got hers on the pink magnet, I caught mine on the white magnet, so oh. I guess it doesn't matter. Go ahead and send it back. Peace. And then there's my fish. Might be a little bigger than Jay's. Yeah. Not much bigger, but that's a meaty fish. Can't be mad at that at all. Bye. Uh oh, Jeff's hooked up in the back. He's got a little jumper. Oh, he jumped right over the net. <laughs> David's knocking our fish off. <laughs> Poor David can't even get in the water. We need a David this hang that Fired. That's a begging. Is it? That's a meaty one. Oh yeah. He's just he's just death rolling like a catfish. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. <laughs> ah, come here. He's a boat flip kind of trout. I think I'm spitting up some bugs or some leaves or something. Uh oh, Jeff's hooked up. Let my little guy go. Jeff seems, looks like he's got some, some weight. You got some weight on there, buddy? I don't think so. I think, I think it's just a regular rainbow. Oh, just rolling around? Crazy. Look at that thing. Oh, that's a pretty one. That's a special one. Oh gosh, this is mayhem. It's pandemonium in the boat. Man, that's a pretty fish, Jeff. Yeah, knock him off for me there, I got you. Get him, big boss. Hey, there's Jeff's fish. Colored up. And there's Jeff. And there's Jeff. And there's David. <laughs> and there's Jay. And then there's Jay's fish. And he unhooked himself, which is awesome. Hey, little guy. That's a little baby guy, Jay. What's up with that? You got to catch the big ones. He just felt comfortable. We need some meat. She wasn't going to set the hook there. I told her. I was watching you. Oh, big, fish. Big, big fish. I'm coming. Coming back at it. I'm coming. Oh, baby. Jeff's hooked up with a begging. Jeff is hooked with a begging on the D2 jig. Oh, my gosh. Look at that sucker. 18 all day. Woo! <laughs> hey. Come on, dude. Come on. Give me some of that. Give me some of that. <laughs> That's a good one, Jeff. Now, the bad news about this whole thing is that I said that color didn't work and David said it did. <laughs> so now I've got to admit, golly, look at this chunk. Man, Jeff, that is a nice one. That's Biggest a... of the day. 
That's a solid rainbow right there. That's a solid one. That's a beefy one. D2 jig, look at that thing. Right there in his mouth, just ripping it off the bottom, and he smashed it. No doubter. Just Man, that's to be a, big one. a chunk. I don't know how much that fish weighs, but it's several pounds. Yeah, probably. Just heavy. Yeah, probably close to four. I would say it's a four-pound fish, probably pushing 20 inches. Beautiful. And just healthy. Look how healthy that fish is. One last look at this fish. We're going to send it back. Beautiful rainbow. Good job, Jeff. Hey, thanks. Get her back. Get her where somebody else can enjoy that fish. <laughs> Give me some of that. Give me some of that. Get him, get him. Yeah, Jay. Get that guy. He pooped while he's swimming. Oh, get him, Jay. Watch out for your... We're good. We're good. He's tugging. He's tugging. There he is. Pretty fish. Good job, JJ. Yeah, that's not a bad one. Oh, it's a thick biscuit. Look at that guy. <laughs> Here we go, we got doubles again. Yeah. I'm trying. Ooh, there's Jay's fish. That's a good one. Maybe your second biggest of the day, maybe? Uh, I think so. I think second biggest. That's a pretty fish. Yes, very pretty. Beautiful colors. They're biting really good today. This uh, is fun. <laughs> say bye. Bye. Oh. Oh, gosh. Another nice shiny one. It's a good one, Jay. Another really pretty fish, Jay. They are smashing that. What's that color called? Salmon fix? Oh, salmon fix. Salmon fix. Trout magnet. Maybe you awesome. should put it on. We can't all throw the same color. We gotta have some diversity. There's a fish, I think, or maybe some grass. A little fish, a tiny fish. <laughs> I was talking about how this bait gets some biggins, but that is our smallest of the day. Is that a rainbow? Yeah, it's a little rainbow. Look at that guys, D2 caught the smallest of the day <laughs> and the biggest of the day. That's a big one. Better one. Stay on big guy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Not as big as the one Jeff just caught, but a good one. He's a long one. All right, I think that's my biggest trout of the day. Not a bad one caught on the trout magnet. We're down here in this area, a little bit faster water. Uh, pretty good ways away from the dam. There seems to be some bigger fish hanging out down here. Jeff just caught that big one on the D2. And the wind's blowing really hard. It's kind of hard to work that bait. So we went back to the magnet and got this nice fish. First drift, we're gonna send it back. There he goes. <laughs> oh, I was just gonna reel it in. Another good one. Another decent one. A little bit better than average today. <laughs> bingo, bingo, bongo. That's another really pretty rainbow trout right there, guys. Got some good spots on him. Nose hooked with the trout, man. I was actually going to reel that thing in whenever he bit it. Beautiful little fish. They'll see different colors throughout the day. Oh. There you go. There you go, JJ. That's a nice one. Oh. Oh, he's a jumper. Oh, Is that a brown? Oh, no. Oh, yeah. He is wild. <laughs> Hey, that guy. <laughs> oh, we got him. Man, we finally got what that now? man in the game. <laughs> what now? Just wanted an alley oop, that's all. Right. Right. That fish was flying. He wanted to come see you. He was jumping for joy, for sure. Yep. Another White River Beauty. <laughs> Beautiful fish. Get him, Jay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice fish, JJ. Get him. Another good fish, Jay. Seen him back. There we go. Hey, you got one? Big daddy. Big daddy. I'm gonna go ahead and let this guy go. Okay. Big daddy coming in hot. Coming in hot. Coming in hot. Yeah. There we go. That's a good spot right here. All right, this might be my biggest of the day now. He's chonky. Get a good grip on him before you lose him. Oh yeah. Look at that. Really pretty fish. Get the dark stripe, crush the trout magnet. We're in a really good looking spot. We're sitting on like a little shallow uh, 
riffle right here and there's a deep hole on the other side of us and this fish came right out of it. We're gonna get him back in there real quick so we can try to catch another one. He's also wanting to jump! <laughs> now, I wanted to be graceful with it. He's ready to go. Nice. Nice one, Jay. Nice one. Right where you're supposed to be, right there on the drop. <laughs> Doubles again. Look at the colors on that fish. Oh my goodness. He's so look at that. Look how pink he is. That fish is so pink. Man, that is super colored up. Beautiful fish, JJ. Good job. D2, look at him jump. Jumping like crazy. Get in the net, Bobby. There we go. There's just another solid rainbow, really healthy looking fish on the D2 jig. Beautiful fish. I'll send him back. Wind, brutal. Brutal. Hello, wind, my old friend. You know how many we have caught if that wind would have been blowing? felt him bite it and I broke him off and now he's trying to jump and spit it. Look at him, he's trying to spit it. Nice. Ah, oh, I felt him bite it on the fall too. Yeah. I don't know what's going on here. I'm okay though. Another cutthroat. Really? Yeah. Oh nice. Wow. They're turning on. <laughs> that might be decent. Oh it's decent guys. Oh, it's decent. It's real decent. It's real decent. It's, decent. it's really decent. Hang on. This it's is remarkably average. This is remarkably decent. Like this is. Oh gosh, it's really decent. Oh gosh, somebody grab this net. Somebody grab this net. He's right here. It's a big decent one. Biggest of the day, I think, guys. Oh gosh, come here on the D two. Is it cut? It's rainbow. It's a rainbow. It's all dark side. Oh gosh. Kind of drag him just a little bit. Come on, baby. Don't fail me, ACC. Oh, that's a great fish, Jeff. Yeah. Bring him to you. Yeah! Woo! You know? That is a pretty fish. Is that a cutthroat? That's a cutthroat. Are you serious? I don't know. Yeah, it's, a it's a rainbow. It's spotted. It's so weird. Spots. Oh, man. Beautiful fish. A couple pounds. It's been a lot of fun. It seems like some bigger fish are starting to stir as it's getting a little bit darker. Beautiful fish. All right, we're gonna send our fish back. There she goes. Love we'll to see him kick off like that. Oh gosh, there it was. Five dollars catch one right here. Bagan, bagan, bagan. Y'all heard that? Bagan, bagan, bagan. Big one, big trout, $5 if I land it. Big one, giant. Oh, is it good? Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Yeah. yeah, baby. What a fish. Oh, man, what a tub. Dang. Guys, I was borderline just kidding. I said $5, I'm going to catch one on this cast. But like second rip with that D2 got stroked. I didn't know if I had a fish or the bottom, but luckily it's a big rainbow. My biggest of the day for sure, because it is an absolute tubster. And we stroked that thing. He was not coming off. That jig is still in there. I mean, guys, look at this thing. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, wow. Look at that beautiful rainbow track. You see his tummy? I mean, look at that, just beautiful colors, perfect fins. This has been a fish that's been living out here for a long time. Got that D2 jig hanging out of his face. They love this thing. If you haven't tried it out, you need to try it out, guys. It's such a fun way to catch them. One more time, guys, look at those amazing colors on that thing. Such a pretty fish. We're gonna get a release on her. Man, that's a pretty fish. Oh, she's ready to go. Oh, gosh. There she goes. 
<laughs> Cranky girl. Good job. Again, guys, there is the bait that she ate. That's a D2 jig from Trout Magnet. It's olive, orange color. It's an eighth ounce. I've got it on four pound fluorocarbon and uh, just ripping it right off the bottom. You let it sink a little bit and you give it a hard snap and they bite it on the fall. And when you rip back up, if they got it, you'll hook up and drive that hook into them. And she kind of bent that hook out a little bit. I'll straighten the thing back out and get it back down there. Come on, David. Tell me you got a serious one. I got the net in case it's crazy. He ain't bad. Look at that thing. Man, look at that fish. David got a pretty one right there. I think it looks like a sunset. You really think my fish is pretty? I think your fish is pretty, man. Aww. That's the nicest thing anyone's ever said to me. Almost looks like a cutthroat. <laughs> Uh -oh. oh, it was a nice one, unless it was the bottom. I don't see any moss. Oh, yeah, we got those barbers hooked on now. Oh, David's got one. Uh oh. Come in, David. Good. Got him. Man, doubled up on the. Uh, doubled fishing. up, baby. Me and David doubled up. You're not going to believe this, guys. This is fish number 101 and 102, if we can land them both. Got Double net job. <laughs> Man. Man, that's a huge. This here's thick. Look at this. David's got one. I've got one. They're literally like the same size. Both on D2 jigs. Damn. Beautiful. Rigged up for this spot. I'm gonna start off by drifting a little white trout magnet. I've got a little split shot. I got a trout magnet easy float. I got it about seven feet deep. I don't really remember how deep this is, but I remember I had my bob rope really high last time. So that's what I'm gonna do this time. Like, there's definitely some water pushing out from underneath there. I already had a bite. Oh my gosh, I just had a bite. What am I doing? There's a fish. Fish. It's a trout. It's a trout, it's a trout, it's a trout. If I get him, he's definitely going home with us. Get up here. Oh, off the rail. Yeah, baby. Oh my gosh. Oh, maybe not. He's got some weird stuff going on with him. That was awesome. Second cast. All right, guys, that is really cool. We just got done catching some bluegill, some tiny bass, and now we're over here catching some trout. This fish, I was planning on keeping him, but right up there, you might can see, he's got some weird like lesions. Looks like he might get sucked on by like a lamprey or something. I don't really know. He doesn't look too good up there. And he'd probably be all right, but I just said I'm just going ahead and let him go. He's, he's spitting up these worms. What the heck? Oh, they're leeches. Oh, he's spitting up leeches. He's got a whole mouthful of leeches. That's gross. I don't know if I've ever seen that before. That trout was literally spitting up leeches. Well, let's see if we can catch ourselves a trout that looks a little bit healthier than that one. Had another bump. Oh, I should have. Ooh, I should have gotten one of them leeches and put it on my hook. Maybe if we catch another one with a mouthful of leeches, we'll do that. Oh, there's a leech right there, actually. Okay. Here we go. This is weird. This is weird. I'm going to do it, though. Okay, so I actually have... Oh, I dropped it. Where'd he go? There he is. Okay, oh, I've got both of them. Okay, so I've got these leeches that came out of that fish's mouth. I'm gonna tip this trout magnet with a leech. Okay, so now I've got a white trout magnet with leeches on it. This will be a first if I catch a trout on a leech, which doesn't seem improbable now. Got him, got him, another trout, another trout on the leech and trout magnet, and he looks good. All right, he got us a trout. Got us a keeper. Is he any more leeches in his mouth? But theirs is a nice colored up rainbow. A lot prettier looking. Kind of skinny. 
Probably because he ain't been eating them leeches. <laughs> he sure did get my leech though. But I'm gonna string him up. Try to get at least one more and we'll have ourselves a nice little dinner tonight. There we go. First little rainbow trout. Not a bad one. I just thought of something. You know, they're eating those black leeches. I think I got a black trout magnet. Um, got black and blue, black and chartreuse. Let me look at another box. Aha, look at this. I got so many trout magnets. <laughs> this is straight black. I got a lot of confidence in white. And sometimes it's hard to make changes, but we can make it, we can change back really quickly. But I feel like we should probably try this black one if they're eating leeches. Cause that looks more leechy than a solid white one. Gotta match the hatch. Oh, I thought I got bit. I did get bit, first cast of the black. First cast of the black, it's a big one. It's a good one, it's a good one, it's a good one, it's a good one. Yes, it worked, it worked. They're eating leeches and they're eating black trout magnets, baby. Let's go. I knew it worked. Gotta trust your instincts. Black magnet. He's got a leech down in his tummy too. That is crazy. These trout are eating leeches. <laughs> oh, this first cast. And it wasn't even out there very long. There we go. Two feisty rainbows. I thought he was bigger at first. Sorry guys, I got excited. I was excited because I caught him on the black magnet. Another one, another one. That was the move, guys. That's a better one, too. That is actually a better one. That's actually a better one. Oh, baby, look at that rainbow. That is a quality one. That is a, oh, shoot, he freaking broke everything off. No, he broke my line. Oh, no. Oh, he's still attached to that bobber. Oh, no, maybe I can catch it. I gotta be quick. There he is, I see him. Okay, it's right there. Okay, I got it. It's attached to my bobber. Don't pull my line. I've got him. Shoot. Oh, I pulled the line through the bobber. No, I knew it was gonna happen. <sighs> Dang it, I had it. But the line pulled through the bobber. Dang. Oh well. All right, well after that little couple of series of unfortunate events, we are rigged back up with a fresh black magnet. Hopefully my, uh, my knot is a good one. Oh, shoot, I got nibbed. Got him. Oh, he's running, that's a big one. Another big one. Redemption. Get up here. Yes. Oh, baby. Oh, I got him underneath the gill. He smacked it, spit it out, and I was just quick enough to get him. He ran so fast. He was far out there. That's the furthest out there I've had. Do you have leeches in your mouth? I don't see any. Okay, so that's gonna be number three on the stringer. I think. Could have easily been four or five, but we've had a couple of missed opportunities. But I'll take it. Three little rainbow trout. That's fun. Oh, I missed it. Golly, they are slamming it. Oh my gosh, I missed him again. Hey. Hold on. Fish on, fish on, fish on. Oh no, he came off. I lost him. It's all right, what are you doing? And I'm catching some trout. Got him, got him. Stay on there, stay on there, stay on there. I was talking to Jay, hooked up, get up here. Yes, sir. Oh yeah, yeah, Jay's my good luck charm. Say hi, Jay. Hi. You're my good luck charm. Always. 
Here, I'm gonna tell you what I'm doing. So there's this discharge pipe right here, and I caught a trout on a white trout magnet, but then he was he was throwing up a bunch of leeches. Oh my goodness. Like little black leeches. So I put a black trout magnet on, and I've been slaying them. Well, kind of really? slaying. Well, I've been I've been missing a bunch and losing a bunch, but I've got this is my fourth one's gonna go on my stringer. But I've had like oh, wow. I've had like 10 or 15 bites in like 25 minutes. Well, that's great. Yep. So I'm not sure if y'all caught all that. I literally I was on the phone with Jay. I hooked one and lost one. Threw it back out there and got another one. Not sure if this is the one I lost or not, but it's the one I caught on that black, solid black trout magnet. And I know that they think that that's a little baby leech. I'm gonna put him on the stringer. That'd be our fourth one. One more, and we got a lemon. There's one. Jumper. Oh my gosh, did you see that? Sucker swam up on the bank. That's the smallest one of the day. I'm gonna go ahead and send him back because he is super tiny. Uh oh. What is that? That's a big old fat trout. Whoa. Big old fat one. Guys, I honestly didn't expect for that to be a trout. I thought it had some sort of like rough fish or something. It was so big and fat and shining down there, but that's my biggest rainbow of the day. And I just floats him up here like a champ. Didn't let him break my line off. And that is actually our limit fish. That's number five. That's a, I mean, that is a big old chunky one. That's awesome. Got him. Got him. Feels like another big one. That's a big one. That's a big one. That is not small. Be a trout. That's a trout. Oh my gosh. But that ain't a trout. What is that? Oh, it's a new species. I cannot boat flip this thing. Dang, I wish it was a trout though. Oh, that's crazy. That is not a trout. That is not a trout. <laughs> Come here. You got my line all slimy. That is so crazy. It's a cute little guy too. Oh, he smoked it. Man, I was so excited. I thought I had a giant rainbow. Okay, stay hooked. Try to Oh gosh. Try to get him to beat himself. Yes. Look at that thing. <laughs> that is a smallmouth buffalo. I don't have a very good hold of this thing. I'm gonna lay him down so we can look at him. Just lay you down right here just for a second. All right. Uh-uh. Look at that fish. That is not a rainbow trout, but that is a cool fish to mix in with all these other things we've caught today. He's not that big. He's probably like two pounds. Oh, sorry, little buddy. Okay. Well, I got really excited for a second. We had ourselves a giant rainbow. I'm gonna have him release him right here. <laughs> that is so funny. A smallmouth buffalo on the black trout. I guess he's up here trying to eat some leeches too. Turn around. There he goes. That water's cold. All right, guys. Well, as fired up as those trout were, they have pretty much completely quit biting. And I could probably swap to another color and probably catch some. Um, but I think I just kind of wore through the population of them right here. I, I mean, I landed probably close to 10, but I hooked and lost total probably like 15, no, not 15, probably 20. You know, and once they get hooked, they don't normally bite again. But anyways, we've had a great time out here fishing today. Started off catching all of those uh, bluegill, and that was that was fun. That was definitely a good appetizer for this. I had no idea I was gonna come over here and catch all these trout. Um, otherwise, I may would have just came over here and did this first. But it was fun catching the bluegill, but definitely a lot of fun coming over here and fighting these trout. Again, I caught all of my trout today on this little guy right here. I caught a couple of uh, first ones on the on the white, but they pretty much all exclusively came on the black, which is a color I don't throw that often at all. And again, that's a little trout magnet, and I had a little little BB split shot above that, and I was floating it below these little easy floats. It's just a super easy and effective way to catch trout. It's my favorite way to catch trout. And if you're somebody that's new to trout fishing, this is a technique that I highly recommend y'all trying out because it's, it really is super easy. You just cast it out there and let it drift in the current. That's all you have to do. You can impart a little bit of action and twitch it a little bit, but really, you just cast it out there and let the bait work for you. But um, with that, let me show you guys my catch I got today. Let me get them all off the stringer real quick. 
Look at those trout. They are super lively. Oh my gosh, I thought they were dead. <laughs> they're not. They're very much alive. That last one right there, that's the biggest one. Look at that. I mean, that is a tubster of a rainbow. That's a perfect size eating fish. These are all good eating size fish. And I, do I have five? I think I have five. Yeah, I got five trout on there. I'm going to take them home and we're going to cook them up for Jay, Baby C. As long as they're not like infested with a bunch of leeches and worms and crap once I cut them up. And they shouldn't be. They should be fine. I mean, leeches are just like, like worms, right? Get him, Jay. Oh, you got one? There we go. Fish on. First fish. Come on, baby. <laughs> it's too easy for her. Too easy for her. Wow. Trout opener this here in Missouri. And Jay's on the board with the first fish. Oh, wow. He's pretty. Oh, gosh. It's so dark out here still. That's a good one. These fish are going absolutely nuts. Yeah, thing. Yeah, they're like jumping like crazy out there. Oh, well, people are hooking them. <laughs> That's a nice one, Jay. Ooh, can't get back out there and get some more. Okay, guys, so this is absolutely crazy. We're out here for the trout opener here in Missouri. It's March 1st. We're here at the Roaring River. Now I've got a trout now. We're going to catch one right here. Ready? <laughs> How long will it take? Oh, there he is. Oh, that's a nice one, too. There he is. That's a big dad. It's a big dad. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's a good one. It's a chubby one right there. Oh, nice. That's the kind of trout you want to see come out of here. Come on a chartreuse magnet. We're throwing bright colors. These fish have not seen any lures since I don't know how long went. So you can literally throw anything out there and they're going to bite it. So we're trying to throw the bright one so they'll see it and they'll bite ours first. There's thousands of people out here lined up and these fish are going to take a beating today. We can each keep four. So we have to have them on our own separate stringers. So I'm going to put this one on mine. We each got one. <laughs> it's crazy. There we go. That's the money zone right there. There he is. There he is. There he is. <laughs> Get him, JJ. Nice. Flip him up here. He's grumpy. Good job, Jay. You got mine on the pink. That's a nice one. Pink magnet. He's a really good keeper, too. Yeah, I'm going to put him on the stringer. We should have brought cypress here. I know. Anyone could, could, anyone could catch a fish out here. <laughs> <laughs> At least right now. Yeah. Once they get beat up a little bit, they might get a little bit trickier, but right now they're easy. Here we go. I'll help you out. Thank you. Woo. All right. That's two for Jay. There we go. Swap colors on them. <laughs> I had to swap up to a white magnet. They weren't buying a chartreuse anymore. That's another good little trout. Ooh. He liked it. I'm going to throw this one back. Oh, nice. Look at there. Nice <laughs> little fish. I think there's some bigger ones out there. If we don't catch any more big ones soon, then we'll start keeping these so we get our limit. That's a nice little fish. We'll throw them back. Picked up again. <laughs> yeah, they're really liking this pink. They're loving the pink. I just missed a pretty good one. He can't even swipe that about it and hook him. Uh oh. There he goes. Easy release. <laughs> there he is. There he is. Jay, you're slaying him. <laughs> Absolutely slaying him. Dialed in. Breaking Jay, don't mess around. <laughs> Breaking Jay. You can start to see your bump through your bibs now. Oh, <laughs> you see, you can kind of hide it. Yeah, it was honestly kind of hard to zip them up this morning. <laughs> nice. That ain't, ain't stopping you from catching these trout. Nice fish, JJ. Huh? There we go. Begging. Begging on D2. <laughs> Begging on the D2. 
That's a nice one. Excuse me, Jeremy, walking him back. Oh, right behind you. <laughs> Look at that fish, guys. That's our biggest of the day so far. Swapped up to the little D2 jig, was ripping it through there. They've seen the trout magnet a bunch. They're still biting it, but we're kind of getting to some smaller fish, and there's still some good ones swimming around. So try and take advantage of this low light. Get through these big ones before they all get snatched up by other guys. That's a good one right there. It's a fish we're holding out for. I've been throwing back some good keepers, but I'm excited to put this one on the stringer. Oh. oh. <laughs> that little jig right there is money. <laughs> Definitely a good looking fish. Let's get him on the stringer and get back out there. take a gander at this catch right here we've got one two three four five six right here and we've got some more somewhere else oh yeah they're down here we got three more down here so we got nine fish we got big boss hanging out in the rocker <laughs> jeff's over there getting getting prepped about to start cleaning these boys up and we're gonna cook them we're gonna turn them into some trout tacos or something good something yummy the river is just right over there so we're gonna do some more fish and this isn't actually a limit we can each have four each but the dealio is what's the dealio um, if you have four fish on a stringer, you can't fish anymore. Yeah, so yeah. everybody's out here quick to get three, and then everybody just lingers around until the end and they try <laughs> to get the fourth one, right? Right. Have you had a good time? Yes. I'm feeling a little tired. Yeah. <laughs> it was an early morning. Yeah, it was early morning. It was definitely a lot more fast and furious when we first got started just because the fish were just so dumb. Like they, they just didn't know what was happening. And they started yeah. to figure out about 30 minutes in, they started kind of getting a little bit, you know, more suspicious of us and all of our lures. Um, but yeah, they're still out there, they're still can catch them. But I mean, honestly, there's 2000 people out here and they've all got three, that's 6,000 fish potentially out of the water. So as many as there are out there, there's a lot not in the water anymore. And there's a lot that have been hooked. Like I caught one just a little bit ago that had a trout magnet already stuck in his throat. We caught some that had hooks in their backs. This is a wild place. It's a lot of fun. It's definitely different, but if y'all are into this sort of stuff and you want to come to a place and catch some trout, I maybe you might can still come this year and catch some, but maybe put on your bucket list for next year and years onward to come yeah. here for the opener and just go crazy because oh, yeah. you know we don't have anything we don't have anything like this in Arkansas. But um yeah, we're gonna get these fish all cleaned up and we are going to eat them. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna eat them. Yeah. Jason, my eyes are kinda red, I'm kinda tired. My eyes red? <laughs> they feel red. <laughs> but we're gonna eat and it's gonna make me feel good. Now here's the thing about trout. You don't want them to get warm for sure. I don't like them being out of water a long time. No. Because if they get warm, they will go to soft, right? But we want straight meat. No um, no bones and no skin. And I can take those rib bones out. Now here's the most important part to me, is if I go down at an angle, I get that part on there and it doesn't taste as good. If I keep my knife up a little bit, it leaves that on the skin side. Makes the filet a whole lot better tasting filet. Then I can go back through here. In this case, I got a few ribs. I can take them out. Take the fat off. And that filet is ready to eat. Got a little bit of the skin right there. That makes it good. Tasty. So the way you're filleting these fish, Jeff, is gonna leave them pretty much boneless, right? Pretty much boneless. The, the Y bones will be in there, but if you cook it hot, those Y bones, you'll never feel them or taste them. So basically what I'm doing is I'm taking out all the rib bones and there'll be some Y bones right through here, mm -hmm. but they cook up completely um, and you won't feel them. These are the bones you have to get out, these rib bones. fat off the top. So it's almost just like the little pin bones in a crappie that are attached to the rib cage. Exactly. Edge. Absolutely. And the smaller the fish, the smaller the pin bones. Typically, I, I prefer to eat probably a 10 inch rainbow, a little bit smaller than this one. I'm sorry we only caught big fish today, I Jeff. know. Golly. <laughs> So 
So guys, if y'all are ever looking to clean some trout, this and is this the way is what to do you it. want. You want it to look just like that, and you want the the firmness of this. What I mean by that is it's been kept cold, so it feels firm. Don't let it soak in water, a trout that is, right? Uh, and for sure, don't let your your trout get warm. Those fillets. This fish has been in 48 degree water his whole life. So when it gets warmer, that meat just gets soft. And then when you try to cook it, it just goes soft on you. It's not any good. That's why a lot of people don't like trout too. Heard here first, folks. Pro tips on keeping your fish fresh and tasty with a man. I'm excited to eat these guys. Okay, guys. Jeff outdid himself. Look at this contraption, <laughs> this masterpiece. We've got our black and rainbow trout. We still got seven more fillets that we're gonna cook up, but this is the first of many tacos that I feel like are gonna be devoured. There's mine. Jay, run us down everything that's on your taco right there. Okay, we got fish, we got sauteed peppers and onion, my absolute favorites. And we've got some chopped salad kit <laughs> on there and some salsa and some guac. And I am so excited. This looks so dang good. I'm going in. They're good? You have did yourself. Uh, I don't know about that, but that does. I'm so hungry right now that I think anything would be good, but it looks pretty good. This it's kind of cold delicious. outside too. Yeah. Oh my goodness. We're going to have to start doing fish tacos like this. Hmm. <laughs> okay, Jay's over here freaking out. I'm going to have to take a bite of this and experience it for myself. Yeah, it's you're not, gonna have to hurry because I, I want to get back to eating. Yeah, it's very rare that we have somebody else cook us fish, and I always love it because everybody cooks fish just a little bit differently. I mean, we cook it a bunch of different ways, and we like it the way we cook it. But I mean, every time we eat someone else's fish, I'm always like, man, that's so good. It's just, it's just refreshing. And this is, this looks. Let me open that up again. Look how refreshing that looks. Refreshing. We just caught that a little bit ago, and we're gonna see how Roaring River trout tastes or compared to some of the other trout we catch. Let me make sure I get a bite of that trout. We fold that up. <laughs> that's good stuff that's the stuff right there that's fantastic it really is so good that's the best thing you could eat today i mean mm -hmm. out of all things you could eat and we could have eaten today anywhere like that's better than anything we could have eaten today <laughs> so thanks delicious. jeff thanks jeff hey you're welcome thanks for coming <laughs>